All right, today we're talking about an animal that's less of a creature and more of a a living, breathing, motivational speech. An animal so incredibly tough that its name has become shorthand for pure, unstoppable grit. You guessed it, we are diving deep into the world of the honey badger. So, let me ask you this. What really makes an animal fearless? Is it just about being the biggest or the strongest? Or is it something else? Well, get ready, because the answer is packed into one of the most surprisingly small and ferocious creatures on the planet. And that creature is, of course, the honey badger. This animal has built up a reputation that is, frankly, legendary. It's known for this unshakable confidence and an absolute refusal to back down from anything. And I mean anything. And that's really the whole secret right there. We're not talking about some giant beast. The honey badger's power doesn't come from its size, not at all. It comes from its absolutely ferocious attitude and a set of biological tools that are just, frankly, unfair to the competition. So what is this animal working with? What makes it so formidable? Let's break it down and look at the stats of this little contender. And trust me, the numbers are probably not what you're expecting. First up, weight. A male honey badger usually weighs in at about 9 to 14 kilograms. To put that in perspective, that's roughly the size of a medium dog, like a corgi. Yeah, not exactly a heavyweight champion, is it? And they are built low to the ground, standing only about 25 centimeters tall at the shoulder. So the question is, how does this compact little animal command so much respect and fear in the wild? And this is where it starts to get really interesting. Just look at the spec sheet. You've got this small size, a pretty short lifespan out in the wild, but then you see it? a bite force strong enough to literally crush a tortoise's shell. This animal is a little powerhouse. But here's the thing. The honey badger's greatest weapon isn't its bite. Oh no, it's the incredible all-natural suit of armor it wears every single day, its skin. This skin is about six millimeters thick, it's rubbery, and it's resistant to stuff like bee stings, porcupine quills, and even most bites. But the real genius is how incredibly loose it is. This looseness allows for one of the slickest escape moves in nature. This right here is brilliant. So imagine a predator, like a leopard, bites down on the honey badger's back. Instead of being trapped, its loose skin allows it to literally squirm and twist around inside its own skin and launch a vicious counterattack. It can attack the thing that's biting it. It's an escape and an attack all in one. But the honey badger is so much more than just a walking tank. It's got a few other special skills up its sleeve that really make it a master of survival. Okay, this is one of its most incredible superpowers. The honey badger is highly resistant to some of the most potent snake venoms on the planet. It doesn't just defend against cobras and puff outers. It actively hunts them for dinner. Seriously. Check this out. For most animals, a cobra bite means paralysis and certain death. Game over. For a honey badger, it's basically an inconvenience. It might get a little drowsy, take a nap for a couple hours, but then it wakes up, shakes it off, and goes right back to finishing its snake dinner. It's just unbelievable. And all that toughness is matched by some serious brain power. I want you to meet Stoffel. Stoffel was a honey badger who became a legendary escape artist, proving these guys are actually brilliant tool users. Stuffel was a master problem solver. He didn't just try to brute force his way out. No, he'd assess the situation. He used a rake his caretaker left behind to open a gate. When they took the rake away, he found sticks. When they took the sticks, he literally rolled mud into balls, piled them up, and built his own ladder to climb out. That is not just persistence, that is genius. So you put it all together. You take the venom resistance, the intelligence, that incredible skin, and you add in powerful jaws, razor-sharp claws, and a defensive spray that smells so bad it can clear a room. What you get is an animal that is the very definition of relentless. So what can we learn from this incredible little creature? All of its amazing survival skills actually offers some pretty powerful lessons for how we can face our own challenges. First off, be flexible. That loose skin is what lets the honey badger turn a terrible defensive situation into an attack. In the same way, being adaptable, being mentally flexible, that's what can help you turn your challenges into opportunities. And second, a lesson from Stoffel. Learn to see your problems as tools. For him, a rake or a pile of mud weren't just random objects. 
they were keys to his freedom. So what's around you right now that you could use in a new way to overcome whatever you're facing? And finally, this is the big one. This is the core lesson of the honey badger, punch above your weight. Its entire existence proves that your size, your resources, what people think your limitations are, none of that defines what you can actually do. Attitude, tenacity, and a little bit of creativity can overcome almost anything. So I'll leave you with this question. The honey badger doesn't look at a deadly cobra and see a threat. It sees a challenge. It sees lunch. What's the cobra in your life that you've been avoiding? Maybe it's time to channel a little of that inner honey badger and just go for it.